Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Orvi3 and WO bringing you my top 5 under the radar quarterbacks for Madden 13. These aren't the best quarterbacks in Madden, but these are guys that you can start a superstar mode around or you can get in your coach mode if you want to, if you want to build somebody up that isn't already at the top of the food chain. This is also people that you can play with against your friends that they may not know about yet. It'll make you look like a real Madden genius. So let's jump right into it. Number 5 is Tyrod Taylor. I don't usually play with speed running quarterbacks in Madden, but that's something that's going to have to change this year. His speed is an 87, acceleration is a 91, and has 88 agility. Uh, a lot of quarterbacks in Madden now are a combo quarterback, runners and throwers. This guy is one of them. Uh, his throw power is a 92, which is, is very high. His throw accuracy is just a 66. Short accuracy is a 69, and deep, accu deep accuracy is a 66. But his, sh his midi medium accuracy is a 75, which is actually pretty good. So if you keep him in that middle to short range, you're going to do okay with him. Um, his throw on the run is an 84, which is very high. So your best bet with this guy is roll him out, uh, run if you need to. Um, you're, if you have to do that, he's very, very capable, very fast, very good acceleration. So he can get away from linebackers and things like that if you have the room. Um, but if you don't have to run, then he's already going to be at a very higher level with that 84 throw on the run. Um, so if you do roll them out, uh, just be sure that you have plenty of, of wide receivers out there in the field making cuts and, and moving around. Have a lot of fun with this guy and tell me what you think. Number four is Nathan Henderley of the Jacksonville Jaguars. This guy is the definition of a pocket passer. Uh, this spot on my list last year was held by John Skelton of the Arizona Cardinals, so that'll give you kind of an idea of how this guy plays. He's not very fast. He is a 50 speed, 51 agility, but he does have 70 strength, and uh, that shows up in the passing game. His stats on passing, his throw power is a 92 again, same as Tyrod Taylor, very strong arm, but he has quite a bit better accuracy throughout the stats. 76 on short accuracy, 74 on medium, and 75 on deep. So the guy can make all the throws, um, and he is a, uh, like I said, he's very mo very non-mobile. So you need to keep him in the pocket, don't try and roll him out. You can run play action with him and things like that, but you definitely want to keep this guy centered in the pocket. Instead of rolling out to the right or left or, or trying to break a run, use the pocket. Step up into it. If there's nothing else, throw the ball away. This is going to be basically how a, how a Tom Brady plays, how a Peyton Manning plays. Uh, he's not on their level by any means, but uh, but that's the style of quarterback that this guy is. He can make all the throws though, so don't feel don't feel worried about throwing deep, throwing short. You know anything you need, this guy can do it. Number three is the 49ers Colin Kaepernick. This guy almost made my list last year. He was barely not on it. Um, he's another quarterback that can do just about everything. His speed is an 85, which is very high for a quarterback. Acceleration is an 81, and agility is an 86. So he can run if you need him to. Uh, the best way, uh, of course, to use this is, you know, if you're in a long passing situation and everything breaks down, you can roll him out just like this, scramble with him. Um, his throw power, again, is a 92, so very, very strong arm. Throw accuracy is a 75. Short accuracy is a 75. His middle accuracy is an 84. That's the highest we've seen on the list so far. And his deep is a 74 as well. Throw on the run is an 85, and his play action is a 55. So, again, this guy works a lot like Tyrod Taylor, only he's quite a bit more accurate. You want to keep his throws in that, in that medium to short range, but... With the, uh, with the 74 deep accuracy, the guy can do pretty much anything. He's got all of the accuracy of, of an Enderly, but he is uh, quite a bit more fast and more mobile. So you don't have to worry about getting trampled up in the pocket. You can move around and, and hit other passes. Deciding between number one and number two was very hard for me this year. Uh, number two was Ryan Tannehill from the Dolphins. This guy is not quite as fast as some of the others, but is still very mobile. He's an 83 speed, 87 acceleration, and 76 agility, which lowers him just a touch from the rest. Most of the others had an 80 or around. His throw power is a 90, but this is where he kind of sets himself apart. Throw accuracy is an 84. Short accuracy is an 87. Middle is an 82, and deep is a 75. With 86 throw in the run and 72 play action, this is probably the best all-around quarterback in my list this year. Um, you can make any throw with him. You can scramble. You can run if you need to. He's not quite as quick. So again, uh, I wouldn't use him like a Michael Vick or something like that. I would use that, that ability to run 
as a secondary action. If, uh, if everything falls apart, you can scramble out and get a couple yards. I wouldn't try and break 20-yard runs with him on a consistent basis. But the great thing about it is, with the accuracy that he has, he really can make any throw. Double sluggos, anything that you need, uh, this guy can make all the passes. Number one on this list is Russell Wilson. And the only reason that Russell Wilson was ahead of Ryan Tannehill on this list for me is for when I got into the practice mode and played with him, he played a lot easier than Ryan Tannehill for some reason. Tannehill's stats are higher, but usually I run about 20 plays and pick the three or four best. Uh, on this one, I ran about five plays, and they all worked, and they were all great. Uh, so that's why I went with Russell Wilson. His speed is an 83, acceleration is a 92, and agility is an 85, so he's very quick. You can run with him all you want. Throw power is a 91, and his accuracy stats are short as 84, middle is 73, and deep is 63. So you want to keep him on the shorter side, that middle range and lower passing. Uh, you can make some deep throws, but it's, it's a little more 50-50. Um, throwing the run is an 83, and he has a pretty low pass uh, play action passing, which is 48. So uh, I would stay away from that, at least in the beginning. This guy's stats are going to raise very quickly as you play with him. Uh, he's got tons of potential. Uh, he's a little shorter than some of the other quarterbacks, so uh, I don't know if that plays much into Madden. Uh, in real life, they say that that's, that's a problem seeing over the line and whatever, but uh, this guy is, is very easy to play with. So I, I would give him a shot and uh, tell me what you think. All right, guys, that was my top five under-the-radar quarterbacks for Madden 13. Again, these aren't the best quarterbacks on Madden 13. These are just some guys that you can build up. Uh, they're kind of right in the middle of the road that have a lot of potential. You can use them in coach mode, superstar mode, or just surprise your friends with them. If there was a quarterback that you feel like should have been on this list that wasn't, I would love to hear about it in the comments section. If you disagree with the, uh, the order of the list, let me know. I love reading that stuff. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.